hello, welcome. We're gonna do another draft booster box for Commander Masters. We've got two drafts and, and then we'll be doing another collector box, so please keep watching. Uh, thank everyone for joining, we'll get this box open. There's 24 draft packs in these and unlike you know standard sets, uh, because this is a Commander set and designed for draft, um, there are 20 cards total in each draft pack. Um, no box toppers, just you know a little thing to kind of tell you what the archetypes are of the format. Um, so these are Japanese manufactured packs, um, so they're a little looser than, than the other ones. They have pull tabs on them, and I'm going to try not using the pull tabs. I, I don't know. I tend to not do uh, very well with those, but we'll... And if I'm having too much trouble with the packs, I'll just settle on cutting them open. Uh, so the rares will be in the front, right behind the token. And then, you know, potentially some, some foil action. So Thought Vessel, Storm Surge Kraken, Obnixilis. And then I'm not going to try and pronounce all of these cards. Um, but there's, I think, uh, five uncommons total. Uh, that's six there, so six uncommons. And uh, let's kind of put our tokens over here. Prismatic Piper replaces a common in some percentage of packs. And then there's like a lot of cards that people might recognize. Um, it's a reasonably curated set. I always like this card. Uh, Feed the Swarm's a good reprint. Um, like one of your few ways of enchantment removal in black. Um, so we're just gonna keep going right through these. But yeah, there, there are some good um, commons and uncommons in the set. Um, Path to Exile, Lightning Greaves, um, just a bunch of bunch of different cards. Ooh, a Foil Borderless Command Tower, that's cool. That's nice, I like that. That's gonna that. be a really good hit. And then all of the uh, tokens are actually double-sided as well. So that's, that's really cool. Verdant Confluence and Maelstrom Wanderer. So there are at least two rares per pack. These two packs have had two rares. Uh, speaking of Lightning Greaves, uh, we'll see what this card settles on on price. Um, Dark Steel Mutations, Cool and Borderless. We'll kind of have a Borderless part there. Um, so uh, yeah, there, uh, Lightning Greaves, I think it had gotten up to be about like a $7 uncommon. Um, and technically it has been reprinted in other Commander decks, but you know, you're not going to buy a, you know, $40 commander deck to get one uncommon. Um, so, anyway, nice nice to have those available in here um, at a lower rarity. Uh, Double-sided token. All right, I am going to put the tokens here, I think. Spellseeker, that's a good mythic. Decree of Pain. I'm not going to try and pronounce that. The Sleeper Agent, the one that you give to your uh, opponents and then do nasty things with them. Then we got our Uncommons, Loyal Guardian, Indoor Commons. And so there's there's a lot of staples, uh, Kodama's Reach being one of them. Um, you know, a lot of cards that, that people are going to recognize, Borderless Faithless Looting, Borderless Command Sphere. Uh, so just, just a lot of cards, again, all reprints, but things that, you know, have been you know, pretty powerful in the sets that they came from. And uh, they're trying to make, you know, a draft experience go off uh, with all this stuff as well. Priest, Priest of the Blood Rite, Scythe Claw, and Chainer Dimension Master. Rogue's Passage, Thran Dynamo. So just, you know, a lot of, a lot of reprints that are uh, they definitely have some power or or some kind of unique effects that they do that um, you know let decks really work. Even simple things like Elvish Mystic. Um, so there, there's you know really a lot a lot in this set being a master set. Uh, and then for myself and and our collection, um, you know we haven't been collecting for a very long time. So there's a ton of these cards that we don't have. Things like Fierce Guardianship, there's uh, Chromatic Lantern's good. Um, Yannette Cryptic Sovereign, Inga Rune Eyes. Um, 
so Inga was just uh, one of the multiverse legends that they had, as well as uh, you drove a great garden. And I, I believe this one was as well, in the March of the Machines. And Slice and Dice was just in Dominaria Remastered. So some of these just get reprinted multiple times. Um, but even so, there's things like Feed the Swarm that you know you might get in a commander deck uh, as a pre-con that it's just good to have in the common slot because it, it just does a thing for black commander decks that, that you know, like I say, you can't get enchantment removal or, or like Lightning Greaves just protects your commander. Free equip cost. Hoping for that. Isn't the Jeweled Lotus in this set? There is, in fact, Jeweled Lotus in this set. That's just the play mat. We gotta get one. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay, well, here's uh, the first of the cycle of free cards that, in this box. So, Deadly Rollick. Uh, definitely a good hit. We'll go ahead and sleeve it. Wretched Confluence. So, yeah, there's all the different colored confluences. Meheb and Eternal. Not familiar with this one. It's a mythic as well. Tatiova. Herald of the Host. And there's a borderless counterspell. Go ahead and stick that there. So we're, this is pack number seven. So almost done with the first column of packs in the draft box and uh, I might be starting to just slice these open rather than try and open them by hand because their Japanese packs are very tough. Shelter. Ooh, a ruby medallion. Okay. All the medallions are good. Um, Galta, Primal Hunger. Cabal Patriarch, Corpse Augur. Ooh, a Soul Ring. Soul Rings, of course, um, just all are great. I. Yeah, we'll stick it here. We'll sort all the cards later. But uh, yeah, in your in your draft pack, you're like, okay, well, I'm taking Soul Ring and maybe one of the rares. But even even at Common Throbin Inspector, really solid card. Not worth anything, but uh, you know, hasn't been reprinted in quite a while. Okay, so we're yeah, yeah so we're kind of. Double teaming, having on a lot of the packs get sliced in advance. Aether Gale, Righteous Confluence, which is all gold main. Whisper, Ravaging Blaze, ooh, Arcane Signet. Uh, I can go here, it's still just an uncommon, but you know, just really good staples to have. You know, it, it, they're cards that just go into basically any commander deck. Or like our, our borderless foil command tower. You just foil command towers aren't aren't really all that common anyway, and to have a borderless foil that's kind of special. And we got a foil uh, rare, Minds Aglow, just kind of a uh, group huggy type card. Lets everyone draw cards. Inspiring Sanctuary and Demon Lord Bells of the Lock, Bells and Lock. Yeah, interesting names. I'm just gonna continue butchering them. <laughs> Mawu, <laughs> Mowu, <laughs> loyal companion, the dog with multiple tails, loyal unicorn, and a borderless fellow or stone. Rise from the tides, but even even cards like this, uh, you know, you create a zombie for each incident sorcery. Even something simple like that, yeah, I don't know if you'd want to pack one, pick one it, but it's definitely a build around. And if you get there on like a spells deck, or a, or like a discardy spells deck. Um, uh, it it can really have a have a payoff. All right, and packs are gonna be quite a lot easier to get into now that their tops have been cut. Nesting dragon that makes our egg tokens. Endric Sahar, Undying Partisan. Oh, another lightning grooves. That's good. It's nice that the uncommon's better than the rares in the pack. And command spear, so just lots of staples, getting getting lots of stuff for our collection to to fill out fill out cards. Frixian gold uh, germ on the back. 
Insurrection Mythic. Uh, Awakening Sun's Avatar, so that kills all the non-dinos. And then Goto Bandit Warlord. So three rares, one of them being Mythic. Ashnod's Altar uh, at Uncommon. Uh, nice to have, actually. I think uh, that's the first one of those we've opened. I'm happy to have it. Um, so, you know, a lot of people that have been doing Magic for a long time, these cards, you know, it's going to be a fun draft experience. There's a Borderless Path of Ancestry. Um, but they're, they're really going to play it for, like, the draft experience and maybe trying to, you know, hit the, the big hits like Fierce Guardianship and things like that. But, but for... Oh, there's the Monarch token. That's good to have because there's a number of things that are going to make you the Monarch. So we'll only get a couple of those if we can. Uh, but yeah, as I, as I was saying, uh, you know, for ourselves, Azuri's Predation, Grand Abolisher, oh, Zakama, at rare this time. So it's, I, I still like opening the, the big dino, but he's printed at rare. He'd already uh, dropped way down in value. There's Kemba. Yeah, yeah, it was a list in I think New Capenna. New Return to Dust in uh in uh, Borderless is cool. But uh yeah, it it had dropped way down since they put it in the list slot and then now they downshift it to rare. Um I'm sure I'm sure there's gonna be plenty of them opened. But uh you know, if you're drafting the set, you just open a giant dinosaur and start slamming all the green ramp and and uh lets you play three colors. Immortal Sun's a good card. Dracuzeth, Mock Flames. But yeah, there's just a ton of, uh, you know, old cards, popular popular cards, Thran Dynamo. See, there's your ramp. Um, just a ton of things that you can build around. Um, seems like there's really a lot, of, a lot of different things supported. Maybe not all of them very deep, but just there's a lot of individually powerful cards and then just a ton of staples that let decks come together. And uh, and I think I lost my train of thought a couple of times, but you know we don't have a lot of cards going way back, so I'm kind of thrilled to have a lot of these uh, a lot of these reprints. Days Undoing, Odric, Yargle. See, uh, this is like the uh, the uh, March of the Machines pack of uh, what they call them, the Multiverse Legends, because you know they just seem to come in pairs. Um, but the, yeah, there's guaranteed uh, uncommon legendary creatures, so of course that is going to happen. Final parting, Aether Gale, ooh, Borderless Frantic Search. I don't think I've seen the art for this card. Looks uh, looks pretty cool. Faithless Looting, uh, Battle Screech. We're about two thirds of the way done with the box here. Uh, feed the swarm in foil. Ooh, toxic deluge. There's another good staple. So really good staple for black decks. Um, that's a good hit. Rafik of the many. Slimefoot stowaway. Eternal witness and just yeah. Um, sees playing a ton of green decks. Throbbing inspector. Just we're, we'll just continue moving pretty quickly through the through the commons. There's a few that are that are cool, um, but of course they are all commons. So there's a construct on the back. Uh, this is the uh, Urza construct on the back of that monarch token. Danatha in foil. Blood Chief Ascension. Star of Extinction and Maelstrom Wanderer in the showcase. I don't know if they call it showcase, but it's the profile foil or uh, borderless. Uh, I don't think I've seen the art of this one. I feel like this card would look a lot better in foil. Um, yeah, it's borderless. It's kind of cool. But, uh, yeah, the profile cards, uh, they're a hit or a miss with, with people, obviously. Um, they're kind of a miss with me. I think some of them look okay. Most of them look, you know, a little disappointing. Uh, actually, that one I do like. But, uh, but yeah, some of them... It was like the Baldur's Gate 2, they came out with like the D&D art, and I mean that's cool, but the problem I think was the same. The artwork was nice, but the backgrounds were just really lackluster. Alright, Foil Borderless, Darksteel Mutation. Um, actually, this card does look really 
really cool. So it's the it's the Richard Kane art. So he goes with he did se- the arts with several cards from the uh, from the Double Masters 2022, Amanatu's Ar- Augury and Perforos. And then sorry for the uh, for the losing of focus on several of these cards. They're just now with the Jeweled Lotus playmat, a lot of things in the background. It's it's just having a hard time trying to focus. Some good uncommons. Uh, as I bump our holder here. Counter spell. Knight of Mirror and Path of Ancestry. I want to say that's the first Path of Ancestry I've seen, but maybe I'm just not looking at the commons that closely. Eldrazi Spawn and Construct. Filigree Attendant. Treasure Nabber. Tefiri Temporal Archmage. This is the one that can be your commander. So there's there's one of the uh, rare Planeswalkers in each color. Uh, Teferi being the blue one. Um, but they can be your commander. So, you know, good to have a have a build around in the mono colors. Return to Dust. Those are uncommons. Prismatic Piper. I haven't exactly been counting. I, this feels like the third Prismatic Piper I've seen out of this box. That's probably... I, I don't know, it seems like it's about on rate. I want to say they're in like every sixth booster or something like that. Stonehoof Chieftain. Mizix of his Magnus. Magnus, yep. Bearclaw, Zada, Loyal Apprentice, Myriad Landscape, Reality Shift. I knew I could see the top of Ooh, a borderless like card. I like the artwork on that. It reminds me of the Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I haven't seen that borderless yet, and I could see it on the side of the pack. I was almost more excited about that than the rares, um, because you know, just having the uh, the borderless actually be a different art style for the card than the regular card in the set, being like a new art style versus like you know extended art where they just drop the frame on the upper half of the card. I'm really a fan of loyal retainers. That's a good mythic hit. Mystic Confluence, which is also pretty solid. Azami. Ashnod's Altar. That's cool. Go through our commons and get to that borderless Kadama's Reach. That's cool. Ooh, I like that too. So it's going to be good to have, you know, cards that just really uh, see a ton of play. Like, there's a ton of green decks that play, you know, Cultivate and Kadama's Reach. To have some ramp, uh, ramp and fixing, I guess. To fairy uh, emblem, Throbbing Inspector and foil, and I, I kind of seen it off the side there, but deadly relic, borderless, uh, rare, just great hit. Carador, Rakamar. Ooh, a borderless pact to exile. I did not know that they made this card. I like that. It's great artwork. I know, it's so funny looking. It's exiling this, you know, big monster. Stormkiln Artist. Maybe I'll put that. It's funny because I do have a path to exile, but it's a promo in one of my commander decks and it doesn't have text on it and I never remember the the text on it, so maybe I'll switch it out. Gavany Silversmith. But it's funny to see cards that were just, you know, first time printed in standard in Midnight Hunt, like the Gavney Silversmith. It's funny to see that in here too, but, you know, sometimes they just, oh, Fierce Guardianship, I should keep talking because apparently that's how I get good cards to show up. So that, that one's great. Um, go ahead and sleeve that one up. Yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and sleeve some of these uh, once we finish the video as well. But, uh, but yeah, that one, great hit. Um, but yeah, like some some even just commons, they kind of fill a role that that you know when they're when the designers of the set are, are looking for cards, they're like, hey, we need a white three or four drop that adds counters to things, and it's just like, well, we just printed this card, but uh, it, it does fill that role. Away. Yeah, Odric in foil, fiery confluence, and curtains call. Oh, actually, this is a quad rare pack. Well, yeah, because the rare was a foil. That's true. Well, right, but this. Yeah. Even when this is a foil, I think this one is not guaranteed. So you mm-hmm. can have a legendary rare and then two non-legendary rares, and then foil can be whatever. So ah, cool to have a have a quad quad rare pack. 
Tangible Virtue for token decks. And then, you know, like this one was just out of New Capenna, but, you know, it puts Delible Strike on things and it gives you two pieces of equipment for one card that, you know, if you care about equipment, then, then you know, that maybe fills the role. So anyway, uh, moving on to the last pack, uh, Bird Token, Insect on the back, Foundry Inspector, Tooth and Nail, Sadisi Brood Tyrant, and that's going to be our last rare for the box, Rorix. Factor Fiction, I think that's the first Factor Fiction in this box. And this is going to, oh, Command Tower, good, good common. And that's going to round out the box. So overall, uh, definitely a good box. We, we hit some good cards. Um, and, you know, having multiple rares per, per pack definitely helps the rate on some of them. Thank everybody for watching. Please continue to do so. We're going to do some sorting and sleeving, but um, please like and subscribe. Keep watching the videos. We appreciate it all. Thank you.